From SPI's Executive Briefing Center in Dallas, Texas, the most watched and listened to content in B2B sales and marketing, it's the SBI Podcast with your host, Matt Shares. Welcome to SBI TV, a weekly show dedicated to helping you make your number. Today we're going to explore how a chief revenue officer navigates shifting market conditions and leads a full go-to-market transformation. Joining me today in the studio is Steve King. Steve's the Chief Revenue Officer of Hexagon PPM. Hexagon PPM is a leading global provider of engineering software for the design, construction, of operation of large plants, ships, and industrial facilities. Think about them as the guts to getting all of those things done. So Steve, welcome to the show. Thanks, it's great to be here. If you're watching or listening out there and you don't wanna miss one of our shows, just go to the App Store search for Sales Benchmark Index, and you can download the app, and you can use the notifications to bring our content to you in the way that you'd like it, while you travel, while you work out, or while you commute. Okay, let's get started. In this next segment, we're gonna talk a little bit about the change process. Steve alluded to this, but we have a company that's been around for 50 plus years. This can be an emotionally charged process. So I guess my first question, how did you think about change communication? and the mechanisms to do that to ensure people were mobilized around mm -hmm. the effort. Mm -hmm. So early on, I brought in someone that had proven expertise in management of change <clears throat> and communications to be part of my team. She'd worked with me uh, in, in my previous organizations to do this kind of work. So we knew right up front that was gonna be a key to success. And we, we baked that into everything that we've done with a lot of different tools and, uh, and communication portals and techniques and the That's way we've great. worked our change plan. But it was interesting, when I, when I came in and you know, did the initial diagnose and assess phase of the work, uh, I joined September two years ago, and uh, we revealed what all we were gonna start doing at the sales kickoff in January. So I'd been there about six months, a little less. Uh, and, and at this time, we had a sales kickoff in each region, so we had five. And I went sales kickoff to sales kickoff, and I stood up there and, and made the case for change. And after the first one, I believe it was, uh, one of the people came up to me and said, you're talking about all these things that we're gonna change and that we need to change. Are we doing anything right? And that struck me, because mm -hmm. the answer to that is absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. you're doing things right or you wouldn't be around 50 years. And I started changing my vocabulary to say evolve. Yeah. Sound like a simple thing, but yeah. it's let's keep doing what works and evolve into these new areas. That I think resonated and it didn't feel as disruptive as saying we're gonna change everything. You know, it's, Steve, it's so interesting that you said evolve because one of the, the things we talk a lot about and actually in the, in the research I released earlier this year, spoke a lot about this concept of the, one of the most overused terms, which is transformation. Mm -hmm. And obviously you and I are talking yeah. about evolution inside changing and go-to-market motion mm -hmm. because the company has changed, customers have changed, buying patterns have changed, but change happens all the time, mm -hmm. right? It happens when, when people went from buying on-prem software to this thing called the cloud. That was changed. Mm -hmm. didn't require transformation. Mm -hmm. It required evolution, yep. right? We're at another point of that. So I, I love that clarity, which then leads me to my next point, which is how do you keep the sales team motivated how did you communicate with them and sort of from a readiness mm -hmm. standpoint that they could understand mm -hmm. we're doing this now and this mm -hmm. is a new rev? Mm -hmm. So a couple of things you know, that we've done that, that have worked for us, and this is still work in, in, in progress, of course. One is from the beginning when I came in, I laid out a plan that I think resonated and could be understood by the overall sales organization and field organization. So we sequenced things mm -hmm. in a way that, that uh, made sense. For example, the first thing we started off is instrumenting the business. So we could see what was going on, what was working, what yeah. wasn't as we changed. Uh, we introduced the hexagon way to sell. So sales process, methodology, and invested in our salespeople to up-level you know, their sales skills I personally went around and did that for every one of our frontline managers and every one of our sellers. Why do I say that? Well, well, I think it's leading from the front and establishing credibility that been there, done that before, and I'm all in, yep. and that helped them come in. And then as we started doing the other stages, it was everything we do, we think about the stakeholder and what's in it for them. 
and we go through that formal process. So if you're a frontline manager with what we're doing with our new go-to-market structure and offers field structure, why would you want to buy into that? Um, and if we can't come up with that reason, well, then we've got to think, rethink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's, uh, that's helped us to uh, establish our stakeholder network out in the field, yep. the value proposition for people, and uh, the things that keeps them excited. Because at the end of the day, people want the business to grow, make more money. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that's really what we're laying out. I love that, the, the concept, though, of like you kind of diving down to the bottom of the pool saying, hey, like, Come with me, and yep. we're going to make sure that we've got some basic components in place, but you're going to demonstrate those. You're not asking them to do right. what you're unwilling to do. Right. I would tell you some of your peers have a hard time still diving down to the bottom, and if organizations have four or five layers, it's not that far to dive, right. and the team needs to feel compelled to, yeah. to, to follow. So that, that field time was, was key. I, oh, yeah. I, I spent a month straight on the road, just going yeah. from location to location. Yeah. And it gave me a great opportunity also to, to meet the people, get to know what mattered to them while we talked about sales. Uh, as I said, it established credibility and it allowed us to continue to hone and refine our message based on feedback through those sales training courses effectively uh, that we did around the world. When I was first a frontline manager, I'll never forget this, and it was two decades plus ago, I remember uh, one of my early mentors said, if you ever want to learn what's going on in a sales organization, get in the front seat of a Toyota Camry. Uh, right. Because a lot of our salespeople yeah, yeah. at that time drove Camrys. Yeah. He's like, just get in a Camry. Go get in the passenger seat and spend a day in a Camry. Yeah. You'll have all the answers you want. What's going on with, the, with their boss? What's going on with customers? What's going on with prospects? What's going on with support? Just get in the in front seat and go for a ride. Yep. So front seat of the Camry is one of my mental models yeah. from the mid 90s. Yep. So, so Steve, great to see you. Specifically, thank you so much for the contribution. Thank you, Matt. I know our readers and our listeners are going to get a lot out of that. So thanks. Thanks, for, thanks for coming by. All right. As always, you have a choice on where you put your eyes and ears. And I, my team and I appreciate the time. As always, I wish you good luck as you try and make your number. This has been the SBI Podcast. For more information on the studio, SBI's Executive Briefing Center, our team, or to schedule a workshop, please visit salesbenchmarkindex.com.